So now we are going to hook up both motors, or both sonars. To do that, you will need this sonar sensor cable, the USB cable from before, uh, and we are going, and your partially assembled robot, as well as the Fritzing diagram and Arduino sketch. So we are going to look at the Fritzing diagram, then wire it up correctly, then go to the Arduino sketch and make sure load code, and then make sure that the values we get are reasonable, and that will tell us that we've done the wiring correctly. So you can go to the Fritzing sketch by going to File, Open, and then find your ChallengeBot repo, and that's probably in your downloads folder. Um, then you can go to Build Stages, see both sonars, and then both sonars.fzz, and that'll give you this. And you can see over here, this is the back side of the sonar sensor cable, or of the sonar. Um, and at the top, we have black, then yellow, then blue, then red. So I will take the sonar cable and make sure that I have black at the top and red at the bottom. Black is for ground and red is for uh, positive voltage. And you can see the same thing written physically on the sonar sensor. Um, so I will plug this in. Then I will plug in the black to the ground rail on the breadboard, yellow to pin six as the Fritzing diagram shows. blue, which is a uh, trigger, to the pin 7, and then red to the power rail on the breadboard, uh, as is shown in the Fritzing diagram as well. So now I will go back to the computer and go to Arduino, and in here I'll go to File, Sketchbook, see both sonars, and make sure that you have just this one window for Arduino open. Then you can hit the upload button, and it might say that it didn't work. So you can go to tools, uh, and then serial port. Oh, it's um, not plugged in. That's why it's not working. So that's a common problem. So I'll take the USB cable and plug it in. And then I will go back and hit the upload button. And this time, yeah, this is what it usually does. It'll ask me what I want to do. And if it doesn't do that, then I can still go to tools and then serial port and choose something from this menu. But this worked, so it says done uploading and it doesn't have any errors down here. So now I'll go to the serial monitor to see values coming out. Uh, there we go, okay. So they're coming out uh, relatively fast, like. Um, boom, 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 boom. Uh, so these are the distances for the left sonar sensor that we already checked and we have it hooked up. And these are the distances for the right sonar sensor. So I'm going to put my hand in front of the right sonar sensor and we can see the values here went down to much smaller. And if I move my hand back away, they go much larger again. So if I put my hand in front, it says about five centimeters. And if I move my hand away, it says about 40 centimeters. Um, and you might see these values jump around a bit, but uh, that's because these are only a dollar a piece. So I'll do the same thing with the left sonar sensor, just to be sure. Um, if I put my hand there, I get values of about five. And if I move my hand away, I get values of about 40. Um, so that is a successful connection. That's how you connect the left sonar sensor.